Welcome back to some more Iron Man. Today, we're going broke again, as I'm gonna buy something absolutely massive and game-changing for our profile. Today's main focus is going to be purchasing the Shen's Regalia Talisman from the Shen's Auction, and this thing, it goes for about half a billion coins, if not more, so yeah, we're, we're losing, like, all of our money. I've got some other stuff planned for afterwards as well, so it's not just gonna be that today, but that is gonna be our main focus and I do believe there's still about an hour and 44 minutes? I want to say not quite no, an hour and like 50-ish minutes before these uh, auctions end here and uh, you can see that it's already, you know, it's well into the 400s and these things jump in price at the last second. So uh, it may look like it only costs, you know, 400 mil to be in the top 16 but in the last second, man, this thing is probably going to run us about 500 million coins, unfortunately. Uh, lowest bin is 480 mil and it's been going up all throughout the day so yeah i'm guessing people are gonna want to be paying about 500 mil for this and on top of that we'll have to fight any iron man players willing to overbid like ourselves so i guess uh, if you're enjoying the iron man series be sure to leave a like down below hit the subscribe button you already know how to do the youtube stuff it makes the videos perform way better on youtube and of course if you ever buy any ranks gems fire sales or anything off the hypixel store i do think they just restocked some of the stuff over here for some easter things i'm not too sure i think they did though and, you know be sure to use my creator code at checkout on the hypixel store for a five percent discount Account. My code is Toad, T O A D, just like my name, and uh, your support keeps this series going. So I really appreciate everyone that uses the code. But uh, I gotta wait for this auction to get ready to be ending here, so uh, give me like an hour and a half. We've got a minute and a half left before the Shen's auction ends. I haven't placed a bid yet. I'm just kind of uh, looking at it real close here. The minimum bid right now is 401 mil, but obviously these things are going to jump at the very last second. So we kind of have to guess where we want to bid. And uh, lowest bid right now is 480 mil. I'm thinking about going for like 457 mil. I think that would probably be a safe spot um, because I'm thinking people are going to jump to around like 440, 450, and I just need to slide into like like the 30th the 40th spot here so oh man this is this is a little bit scary i just want to see okay it's, it's definitely jumping up a bit now but it's hard to see the bottom slots i wish we could see all 40 slots to know like how compact it is on the bottom but i'll probably place my bid with around 20 seconds to go here so we'll see it's at 404 do i even need to jump up that high i mean could i get away with like 430 but it's only like a 20 mil difference and it would def definitely mean i get the talisman today all right i'm thinking we go for like for 450 is like a milestone though. All right. We'll go for 453 million coins. We'll place that. Four seconds left. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we just got it like, like way definitely got it. Um, it looks like, yeah, we probably got fifth. So I paid about 30 mil more than I really needed to, but you know what? It was to secure that we had it, so I guess that's good. Um, I'm guessing it's it's thinking, it's calculating who won. I'm pretty sure we won it though. We'll see. Maybe. Um, can I have my talisman? I I paid like 453 mil for this thing. Can I? Eh. What? I think it broke. It's either broke or it's frozen. Um, I'm not too sure what happened. 454 mil. I, I, I don't have anything in my bank. I don't know if I got it. Okay, someone in guild says just go to a different lobby. Yeah, you can't check it straight away. That's fine. Makes sense. So I guess we'll run down here and see if we have it to pick up. And yes, we do. We did indeed get the Shen's Regalia. So yeah, that was expensive. Uh, probably paid like 30 mil more than I needed to, but that's really not that bad. I mean, at least I didn't do like the 520 mil I was thinking I was going to have to. So we'll definitely take that and we'll throw this in our accessory bag. And I have to spend coins to upgrade my accessory bag to even fit it. Of course, why wouldn't I? How much is this going to burn the bank? 12 mil? Yikes, man. And the next one is 20 mil? Oh my, that's not okay. But, well, we just spent way too many coins, but hey, we got the Shen's Regalia, so... We now have access to go down here. Hello, rats. You can please. Okay. <laughs> we can now warp into the regalia room. This is a place I have not been before. Uh, so it looks like there's three different items here. We have divine gift. We have the art of peace. And then we have the rat jetpack. This is what upgrades your rat to mythic. And actually, I need one. And that's kind of the main reason I got the regalia, to be honest with you guys, is to buy a, a rat jetpack. So 
Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves a 50 million coin rat jetpack. And where is our legendary rat pet? I know it's somewhere in our pet menu. There it is. And let's go over to cat and we'll upgrade our rat with cat. It's going to be one mil and another hour. Let's go ahead and spend bits just to speed that up to do it in one clip. There we go. And this was one of the most, if not the most expensive... I bought a kismet feather. That's not a cat flower. I need a cat flower. There we go. And let's give that to cat and get ourselves a mythic rat pet for three more skyblock XP. Also, our magical power is now sitting at a sweet 1453. And our most two recent uh, talismans are not recommed. So we can actually recom these. I don't have a recom, but what I can do is get two enrichments. Um, what is my enrichment thing set to right now? It looks like Intel for some reason. I'm not too sure why it's set to Intel, but I guess I'll just keep going with that because I must have had a reason to do that. Oh, oh, it's because I was farming the, uh, the Duke Beast here and I needed the extra Intel, but let's go ahead and combine these and enrich both of these accessories we got in our last two videos. And this is definitely looking like a sick talisman bag. We have one more slot we can put a talisman, but I don't know which of the reigning ones I'm going to get next. But that was our main thing we had to do today, so uh, that's pretty awesome. Hey, hey, what do we got here? Two brand new fire sales. First up, the plushy rabbit skin. Look at that. It kind of looks like that one guy from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, not gonna lie, but... Uh, there's the first one. The other one is the chocolate magma cube skin. I want to see uh, this one once the... Uh, Plushy rabbit stops uh, being in existence. There it is. Look at that. That guy's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that one. It looks like a uh, like one of those uh, s'mores, like a marshmallow s'more. That guy's actually pretty cool. But if you guys want to pick up either of these fire sales, they're gonna come out pretty much when this video is uploaded. Uh, be sure to use my creator code on the high pixel store. You get a five percent discount, and it does support the Iron Man series. A massive, massive amount. I wouldn't be able to keep doing this series if it wasn't for everyone that uses my creator code. So, uh, you know, if you want to use mine, my code is code TOAD. That's T-O-A-D, just like my name at checkout. It's the only code that rhymes. It's the coolest one. And uh, your support means the absolute world to me. It's been a few days since then, and we actually have something pretty awesome that I'm excited about. This is going to be just like the most talisman stuff we've done in a video in like a year, which is kind of funny. But... Uh, I've had these sheep minions running with the lush bear berries, uh, the fuel injector for quite a long time now. And if I go ahead and collect all of these, we should have, yup, 28. That is what I was hoping to see. And yes, we do. We have eight stacks of enchanted lush bear berries now, which means if I find my lush ring, we're actually gonna be able to upgrade this into the lush artifact. Dude, there it is. Let's go. That's going to give us two health, uh, two extra health and one health regen. Pretty decent upgrade, you know, pretty free, but of course it is for that epic magical power. And it is a new legendary talisman, which means we can get not a god potion. Why did I buy that? Um, we want to get, uh, a enrichment. Oh, why did my game just lag? Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh, that's going to be screenshotted somewhere. <laughs> let's make this a enriched accessory and there we go. And let's go ahead and throw that in our accessory bag where it is supposed to be. Right here looks good. And sweet, that is four more Skyblock XP, which is pretty cool. But not just that, as I do believe if we have enough, uh, oh, we don't quite have enough mutton. Okay, I guess I'll have to leave these sheep minions up for another day or so to finish what I need to do. But yeah, because we need a thousand seven or a seven, 1,720 enchanted mutton. We're only at 1651, and I don't think there's enough in my... Uh, regular husbandry sack to get another 100 or so so i'll leave these ship minions up for another day but uh the vampire the vampire minions are doing pretty well and uh, these guys should have roughly another stack of uh himmel glass but dude these things are gonna be down for like four or five months man i don't know how this is gonna i don't know how long it's gonna take to max out this accessory but you know i want to max it out eventually i think it'd be good to have for the extra mp as well we're now up to 1,457, and we still need to recom our two uh, new legendary accessories we got in the last, uh, or in yesterday's video, or not yesterday's, last week's video, and, um, well, this one for the regalia as well. So, uh, I'll probably do some dungeons today, honestly, and, uh, try and get two more recoms for those. But I guess if you're curious on the Himoglass, uh, progress, we're almost a third of the way there, so that's gonna take a while to do, but... In time, it'll happen. Uh, while well, I'm waiting for a friend to get back to play some M7 and get those recoms, I decided to mine some ice as we need roughly 10 stacks of enchanted packed ice. 
in order to make all of the different recipes in the game that require ice besides the Yeti sword. But mining ice is really slow and I compared the uh, glacial cave to just digging up the ponds. And if you're able to get a pond really quick, then it is a decent bit faster than mining in the glacial cave. It's like 160 enchanted a minute versus like 125. Uh, it's also easier on my eyes to do it this way too, so that's a plus. But if it takes you a while to find a uh, open pond like this that hasn't been mined up, then it may be a little bit slower. You also run a greater risk of, you know, getting that bug where it kicks you out of the game for a few minutes if you warp too much. So, uh, you know, we ha you have to consider that, but... I'm probably not going to do this all in one setting. Obviously, I mean, the island's not even going to be open for the 10 hours I need to sit here and do this. But I want to try at least get like a good hour or two done. Maybe try and get close to getting at least one of the items for the uh, museum. I'll probably just make like the cheapest ones to so the most expensive. So the first one I would make would be the uh, frozen scythe and then probably the glacial scythe and then the uh, blaze, frozen blaze armor and then the auger rod. Uh, I don't plan on doing the yeti sword because I won't need it for the museum. That's gonna be like a last case thing if I don't want to get any of the other items and I need one more donation then I'll do that one, but I'll probably just get the uh, all the other ones that require ice except for the yeti uh, sword just because I don't really need it for anything. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I'll see you for like an hour or two. I'll come back with you guys when I'm done uh, mining and we'll see how much we got. Well, I'll be honest, I did not get that much uh, ice, but that's okay because that wasn't really my main focus. Uh, what I do have is plenty of, uh, wherever it is, the enchanted mutton. Yes, we do. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this as well as my horns of Taurus. Uh, wherever I put those, I think they're in here. Uh, yeah, we have enough of these things and I need to craft nine of these horns of torment. So let's just make as many as I can with this. I gotta be careful not to craft enchanted, uh, enchanted mutton here. So we have one, two, three, four. We'll need to make five more, so. Let's grab the rest of our horns right here, and then we'll just fill our inventory with mutton one or two times to craft the rest of them. So there's number five, there's number six, and we'll need more uh, mutton here, but we just need nine. And this will give us a brand new uh, accessory power, which is pretty exciting. So there's number eight, and then the last one we need right here is going to be the ninth one. So there we go. We can go ahead and throw the rest of this in our inventory, or in our sacks, there we go. Uh, and let's go over here and unlock this magical power. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we'll learn the demonic power. Uh, where is this thing? I think it's right, uh, I don't see it actually. It's right, oh, I see, I had it clicked on. So this gives us a decent amount of intel with some strength and crit damage. I don't know if it's good for anything. It looks like it's decent for LCM, but I'm pretty sure people use Silky or something else. So it's probably useless. But either way, it was 15 Skyblock XP putting us closer to level 389. I think now what I want to do is do some uh, M7 dungeons, see if we can get a couple of recombobulators for our uh, two mythic talismans, as they'll give us more magical power. So I'll hop into some M7s, I'll show you guys some loot, and let's see if, you know, we can get anything decent today. Since we had to take the sheep minions down, I figured why not just place more mycelium ones. So I made the mycelium farm a bit bigger. I haven't noticed this thing working very well. I'm guessing I built it wrong, but I guess it is what it is. So we'll see if it, uh, you know, does anything over the uh, coming days here. Uh, I do use the uh, mushroom cow. I got to use that more uh, because it boosts the speed of these mycelium minions when I'm on my private island with it. So got to make sure that I'm actually taking full advantage of the, uh, ability of that and probably should start AFKing on my island more if I do want more mycelium. Um, but I'm just gonna pretty much place these torches down here and then I have a mithril crystal as well I need to put down actually uh, to boost their speed by another 10% which will be a very useful. So uh, let's do that and I'm guessing, I don't know if it's gonna show me like the range of this thing working but I'm assuming I'm gonna have to put it on, I think it's these, I think it's this tile, it's like in between these two tiles, so I'll put it like right there maybe, I guess, and see if that works. Am I gonna be able to put a block here? Uh, probably not, so maybe I can do that and it'll just work? I'm not too sure. Um, I guess it'll, I'll know it boosts these, and these guys are gonna be working at 14.1, and this guy way over here is going to be 12.9, what? Wait, 12.9, oh, are those different tiers? I think those are different tier minions. Uh, yeah, okay, but it looks like they all are going to be working, so that's good. I can, uh, check way up here, that's gonna be it. Yeah, because these guys are level 3, and, uh, these guys down here are level 5, so they have different work speeds, but, 
Uh, that'll be fine. That's another eight mycelium minions down. I don't need these torches in my inventory at all. Uh, so we just have mycelium and vampire minions down. I believe that's the only minions we actually uh, are using now. And I could just mine the mycelium. I mean, it's like five hours of mycelium mining. I almost just want to do that to get it done so I can use actually useful minions because these guys aren't really ideal to be using. I'd rather, I mean, I can't really put down more vamp minions because I can't get more bat person helmets, but I'm sure there's another minion I could use that's probably worth my time. Um, I mean, red sand, I, I could. How have I not crafted a red sand minion yet? Wait a minute. How have I not made a red sand minion? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh wait, I can just buy shovels. Hold on. Can I just like craft the red sand minion right now? Oh, I only have 18 red sand. Hold on. Let's just uh, warp aisle real quick here and buy like 10 stacks of red sand from one of these shops over here. Um, I think I'll have to switch factions to actually craft it. So let's do that. But I should have, um, it didn't, it didn't swap my faction. Um, no, it did. Okay. Why do I have negative 3000 barbarian rep? Wait, that's not right. Well, I guess that's why I can't craft it because I don't have any barbarian rep whatsoever. And if I search out red sand here... I'm guessing I need like, what, 100 rep or something, 500 to make it? I would have thought for sure I'd have barb rep by now, because if I go over to mage faction here, let me look at it, I have 15,000 rep, so I'm over by a few thousand. I would have thought that'd have been enough to have at least a couple thousand in barbarian, but I guess not, so I guess that's not something I can make right now. But uh, taking a look at the other minions I have to max, I guess rabbit is one I need to do, uh, voidling I can't do, inferno I can't do with minions, tarantula I can't do with minions. I think it's just rabbit. I think it's literally rabbit, oh, and hardstone, rabbit and hardstone but hardstone minions aren't going to be the play for that. It's going to have to be one more powder mining, so. Yeah, it's just rabbit, mycelium, and red sand that I really need that are, like, grindable. The other ones kind of will happen over time. I know there is that new mining update coming out, so maybe that'll give me a reason to powder mine again and uh, get closer to maxing out that, uh, hardstone minion. Oh, that's right, I never finished grabbing these things. Someone, someone actually told me to use tarantula boots or spider boots uh, when collecting the XYs and Zs because it makes it go so much faster, so I'm definitely going to do that. I might even do that like next episode or something, I'm not too sure. But I want to try and get to level 400 through the uh, mining update that's coming out because I've heard it adds a handful of skyblock levels, and I think if we really just try and grind that out, it'll get us at least, a you know, closer to 400, make it realistic to get. So, uh, as soon as that mining update comes out, expect uh, some form of a, you know, road to level 400 grind to start there, because that'll be really fun to get. Is that not just Megalovania? Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. That's just Megalovania. <laughs> what? That did not just happen. That's It's not like perfect, but it's pretty close. You know what? Why wait for the mining update? We can just start preparing for it now. I'm going to go ahead and remove the flawless jaspers from my daggers for now because I'm not going to be doing, or not the flawless jaspers, but the uh, opals. Because I'm not going to be doing Blaze Slayer in the near future. I've kind of changed my plans of what I'm going to be doing a little bit. But we need to forge at least one perfect opal. I think I'm probably going to go for two perfect opals. Because right now, if we actually go to the forge, I'll show you something. Uh, most of the perfect gems to forge them, you know, you need uh, five flawlesses and a ruby crystal. Or a cru the crystal of the same type. But the opal doesn't actually have a crystal. So if we forge them now, then they don't cost a crystal. But I believe in the mining update, they add a opal crystal, and you're going to need to get that to make the perfect opals. So if I make them now, I don't have to worry about however I need to get that stupid crystal. So I think I'm going to be making two perfect opals, because I think that's how many I need for the update. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and mine up, I guess, eight flawless opals worth of, um, well, opal. And the way we do that, of course, is by just taking our generic mining setup over to the, uh, Crimson Isle in the Blaze area. Maybe I should make a gummy bear for this so I don't get dunked on by these blazes. But yeah, look at that. The blazes are gonna... They're not happy I'm mining down here. But you just mine the opals that are all along the wall and stuff. I'm obviously turning off efficient miners so you can get more uh, pristine procs for every single vein. But I think I'm gonna do this and just make two perfect opals uh, this video because I think I want to get this done before the update comes out. So I have the... Uh, tankiest setup I can really get using the uh, tankiest power stone that I have as well as like my plasma flux and wand of atonement and I pretty much just every time I go to a vein I pop the wand of atonement 
and my uh, Astrea, and then I can mine, and I don't die quite fast enough to die. Um, and then every couple times, whenever I just have enough mana, I throw the Plasma Flux down as well. So this should, in theory, be enough. So I just like do this, this, and this, and then I mine the next one, and I have enough regen and stuff to outlive the damage of the blazes, but it's kind of hard to do that. But, you know, we can, so that's good. Um, so all I have to do is fill my sack once, and that'll be enough to make the, uh, perfect gem. So I pretty much just have to fill this thing once and then we'll be set. So I guess I'll do that and I'll come back when we're ready to make the gems. I overshot the amount of opal I needed by quite a lot. So I figured we're just going to get the second perfect as well. I just have to fill my gemstone sack entirely once. So, you know, it's really not that hard to get a perfect opal. So we'll get two and that'll let us make a, I think it's a drill part. That is coming in the new update. I don't remember what it does. Something like it lowers your cold and heat stat, which is, you know, new update stuff I won't get into. But I figured we might as well just make both of them so I have them and I don't have to worry about, you know, if that drill part ends up being useful, then I don't want to have to worry about getting that perfect crystal or anything. So, um, yeah, I'll just get this last uh, perfect here and then we'll start them in the forge. That should be all of the stuff. So let's go ahead and make our five flawless opals. That's three, four, and five. Oh, we didn't actually make five for some reason. There we go. That's four and that's five. Now we have five of each. Perfect. And we should have two finds left over just in case we need them. But uh, let's warp forge now and start the uh, perfect opals. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to have both of these done, to be honest. Now I don't have to ever think about it again. So we'll do that. One and two, there we go. And we have three forge slots. Uh, I don't know what I really want to do with those forge slots. Um, do glacite jewels go in the uh, dwarven sack? Do I even have the dwarven sack? Is there even a dwarven sack? I know there's a hollow sack. I don't know, man, but we need basically a unreasonable amount of, uh, I think it's either mithril or gold plates. I think it's mithril plates, which uh, will use a lot of different materials, but I'm not too sure I'm going to be doing that quite yet. And uh, just in case this update decides to drop like tomorrow or something when I'm recording this, I might want to have one or two or three forge slots uh, available for use. So I'll probably leave those there. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to try and get this mycelia minion right here to tier 12 right now. It's going to be about five hours of mycelium grinding. But you know what? I'm going to see how much I can do. I'm going to see if I can pull it off doing it in this video right now. I don't know why. I just feel mot motivated to do it. So... Let's grab wherever my, uh, promising shovel is. It appears I have lost my promising shovel. Well, I don't know. I'll find it and I'll go start farming mycelium. We need, I think it's, uh, 32 times 160. So that's 5,120 enchanted mycelium. I have about 1,500. So we need about 3,000, what? 3,600 or so? That's, that's a lot. That's a lot to do in one setting. Um, estimated to be about five hours. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, if I do it in five hours, I would still be awake, so, yeah. Let's just give it our best shot. Um, I'll update every whatever I feel motivated to update you by, probably every 500 to 1,000. All right, just past the 2K mark. This is going way slower than it should be, and I'm probably not going to finish it in one setting just because I have been stopping every 20 minutes to do other things, but, eh, slow progress is still happening. I'll probably aim for at least another 1,000 or 2,000 today. Uh, just kind of depends how long I'm willing to sit here and uh, mine for, but I'll keep going, keep you guys posted. Took a break because there's actually a mining fiesta, and I decided to go ahead and mine up a bunch of diamonds to start working towards the uh, tier 13 perfect armor set, and I uh, only caught like the end of the fiesta really, so we didn't get too, too much done, but I did end up filling my entire sack of enchanted diamonds, so I guess we got somewhere, and it looks like we got an additional 15 blocks, so uh, what? 2160 divided by 160 is 126 plus 15 is 141 diamond blocks. I know I need exactly 200 to make the armor, so that's actually not too bad. And I think it'll only be like two or three more hours of mining diamonds outside of Fiesta to finish it. So I may end up just doing that too. I guess we'll see. Well, we're back on the mycelium grind. I think I'm at about 3,000. Hey, 3,000 on the dot enchanted mycelium. So we need like 2,128 if I remember correctly, which, you know, is gonna take a while, but there's a chance I'll get it done right now, so I'll just kind of keep focused and see if we can wrap this up today. 
And that marks 4,000 Enchanted Mycelium. Only 1,128 more to go. Is that the right number? 32 times 160. Okay, 1,120 more to go. I mean, I could stay up and just finish it tonight. I don't know if I want to, though. I'll just go until I get tired. I think I'll stop right there. That should be like 4,500 on the dot. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna go to sleep. So we'll wrap this up in the morning. I'll collect whatever my uh, minions have left here. They're gonna work overnight for me. I'll use the uh, the cow pet and they'll probably make like five or six enchanted each, which will give me like a free hundred. But I'll finish this up in the morning and we'll make that new minion. Almost done. Just a few more, two more enchanted and we're free. And the last one right here and right there. That's gonna do it. That should be uh, $49.94. And if I convert all of this into a... Uh, Enchanted Mycelium, we will have on the dot exactly 5,120. Which means I can go ahead and just craft a ton of these Enchanted Mycelium cubes. Uh, I, I could like do the super craft quick thing, but I don't really know how that works. I have to look it up again and that's going to take longer than just doing this. So I'll just do this for this time. But let's go ahead and make all 32 of them. There we go. And that is going to be one and two. Perfect. There's 32 Enchanted cubes. Now, at long last, we can go ahead and pick up this tier 12 mycelium minion, or tier 11 mycelium minion right here. Let's scoop that guy up, warp aisle yet again. And to make the epic journey over to the upgrading area, which is going to be way, way, way over here. I think it's uh, this guy. I keep running out of mana. I think it's you. Well, let's talk to you. And yes, tier 12 mycelium minion. Let's go ahead and purchase that. There we go, a brand new minion and a brand new tier 12 at that, giving us, I think, 24 Skyblock XP, putting us really, really close to having all of the realistic minions to get on an Iron Man profile. We need a uh, Hardstone, which of course I can get that pretty quick, uh, well not quick, but I can get that during the mining update. Red Sand, which is going to be obnoxiously hard to get. And a rabbit. Apart from that, it's the Slayer minions, which are all a nightmare in their own to max and not realistic for an Iron Man, but like, you know, is possible to get. But, you know, that's a big one and probably our last minion upgrade for a very long time. So, pretty exciting. I guess, uh, I don't know, I probably will take these guys down. I'll probably just start the rabbit minion next, honestly. It's gonna take a while, but I may as well get that done. Actually, you know what? No, I'll probably do that during uh, Derpy if I don't do Blaze minion or Inferno minions. But I don't know, I'll figure that out. I'll probably just set down rabbit minions if I don't know what else to put down today. Oh, and I do believe we can collect our perfect opal gems. How exciting. I'm just gonna keep these stored away in a chest for the time being. Uh, maybe not that chest, maybe like a... Uh, what's a chest I'll remember or I'll run into again? How about uh this chest? I'll probably see those, but uh... Anyways, that's gonna be for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Hopefully the mining update comes out before my next video because I am running out of things to do very easily. If it wasn't obvious, but hey, if you ended up enjoying, be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, I'm trying to start uploading twice a week, but uh, I'll have to see if I'm even able to do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, lastly, of course, if you ever buy any ranks, gems, or those brand new fire sales off the Hypixel store, be sure to use my creator code at checkout for a 5% discount on anything you buy. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name. It's the only code that rhymes. It's the coolest one. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care.